Today on Shredding Spree, we're building another bike. It's been steadily raining on and off for the last couple weeks, and I'm going nuts because I haven't been able to ride. But anyway, since I have a bike addiction problem with no outlet, I'll jump at any chance to do something bike related. And today, that means helping my buddy Spurbs build his beautiful new titanium hardtail. Now I don't know how many bikes he's built in the past, but hopefully he has all the right parts gathered up. Either way, we're doing this thing, so stick around and watch a couple amateur mechanics fumble our way through this build. I'm sort of planning on just driving the camera while questioning everything he does, so let's see how this goes. What's up? We got it, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd be meeting me with the camera. Spurbs knows how to build a bike. He brings a bag full of tacos and a couple sixers and some rainy day beers. It's gonna be an afternoon. Hopefully it doesn't take us all afternoon, right Spurbs? That's right. I brought it to the professionals so we can speed this along. <laughs> Little does he know, I don't plan on doing any work. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a comedy video then, welcome. Organizing all the fun parts here. Yeah. So we've got a little bit of a hodgepodge of uh, the parts build here. He's been gathering some stuff over the last few months. Some things hanging around the garage, some things bought off of the Pink Bike Buy Sell page, and some things bought new. So we're gonna hope that everything's here, and we're gonna put all this stuff on this frame right here. This is a Binary Maniac. This is the hardtail party designed do it all hardtail, bike packing, rowdy stuff, semi slack, ready to go rig. It's beautiful. Made out of titanium, sliding dropouts. This machined yoke accepts a huge range of tire widths, up to like three inches wide or something. Three inches wide, any tire you can imagine. Before we could start the build, we had to sort of figure out this, uh, the dropper cable. It goes inside. You gotta stick your finger in this really dangerous hole in the bottom bracket shell. And then it goes right up that seat tube. That was hard to make that turn. It's all internal. And we almost lost the thumb once. We lo almost lost the thumb. Once the steel cable, I, we ramped the steel cable up and then pulled it very taut. I was able to hold this end while Chris held that end really taut, which was able to allow the housing to make that turn. It went like that. <laughs> All right, so that's the hard part done. We had to do that over beers and tacos, and now we're just gonna bolt this thing together. It's all gonna go perfect, right, Chris? Yeah, see you in an hour, riding the bikes. <laughs> first things first, where's that headset? Did you bring grease or no? I've never done this before. No, but I'm gonna get him to stick, look at just enough grease to get him to stick. First time using, not enough grease to get him to stick. It's somewhere in the garage now. I know where it went. You haven't dropped enough tools in your life. It went right under here if my ears are correct. <laughs> Hello, baby. This is why we're not doing it in my house. That's all I know, it's 40. Edit and make it seem like we knew what we were doing in the first place. I'm just not gonna shoot this, this part. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is my other least favorite thing to do on mountain bikes. Don't film me. Action. Special guest appearance from Doug. <laughs> I don't know that we would have a headset cup without Doug right now. Don't loosen a bolt with the ball in. The commenters will let you know. If you don't use a torque wrench on every screw, your bike will explode. <laughs> I just got a torque wrench. It's in my box. It's the first time I've ever had one. Not my first time ever working on bikes. It's the first time I've ever had a torque wrench. I think I need one of these. Cut, cut. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, next, let's put the fork on. High reward, little work. I love these jobs. You, you got a, a race that goes on the bottom of that, right? There's a clip that goes on it. Yeah, it's right here. Do we have one of those things that hammer this race that's not split? Everything. Cut. Everything on this bike. Dude, I don't have that tool. No. Yeah, Fire. not a split race. I'm so upset that's right now. take a tool. So upset. And we're so excited about this frame. We should have just made it. This is uh, they don't even match, dude. Oh my Shut God. up, Doug! I already told you I ordered a WTBs for 60% off. They're coming any. Alright, Chris, we're skipping ahead a little bit here. What's I know your... we went so quickly. 
Yeah, everything's, it's hard to keep up. everything's gone together so smoothly. I haven't had to put down the camera and stop recording. And it could, it could, it could be wrong. Where did those bolts come from? <laughs> that box. This is Chris's magic box, which has proven to be not magic at all. Just for a little bit of an overall view of this bike, it's looking pretty great. But it's taken us pretty long to get to this point. We've got the fork on. It's uh, is looking nice. A little bit of a hodgepodge of spacers here, but we'll, you know we'll work that out on a later date. We're gonna work that out tomorrow when I go. We're now gonna be test fitting the rotor with the wheel to make sure the adapter we have is correct. Do you want a torque a torque wrench to get those all exactly at six newton meters? Yes, yeah, sure. but after we check it for size. Okay. Right so Doug says he's over tightened the rotor yeah. and, and uh, snapped them off inside the hub. It's the one bolt he torques on his bike. Had to cut again. But what are we working on now, Mr. Spurbs? I'm gonna put the sliding tabs in. Probably in correct terminology. Sliding dropouts, thank you. But it's all gonna go real smooth from here on out. There you go, Spurbs. Oh, lock tight. Let's do it. Torque wrench is right here when you need it. Do you need, do you need the torque wrench? I'm sure I do. This doesn't look like a cheap uh, hanger to replace, but you know what? When you're running the good stuff, that's just the way she goes. Maybe don't put it in your mouth with the uh, brake fluid. Brake fluid, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shroud guy. If it were Shimano, you can ingest that. Yeah. Yeah, I would route the cable completely. Oh, we're backwards. Rear brake. Yeah, I got you. Front brake. Chris did this backwards. <laughs> Comment below if you like what you see. Euro style. I always use the right side for the front, so I'm a moto guy, you know. So. Doug, it's an open fridge. Just, we're gonna be here a while. You just get whatever you At need. At this rate. I got uh, like a full on leftover pizza in there, so we can we can just hang out as long as you need us to. <laughs> no, it's not you guys I'm worried about, it's the wife. So that's in two hours. Like, we got time to mount one more brake lever. <laughs> Based on the amount of time that this build is taking, I'm gonna switch to time lapse and I'm gonna start helping Spurbs. Well, that was an abrupt end to a bike build video. <laughs> Would you say, Chris? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> As many things in show business, things don't always go according to plan. And uh, we hit a few snags and ran out of time to build that bike. But um, Chris went back to, uh, back to the drawing board the next day and got her done. And so this bike build video just became um, a shakedown video so we're out here we're gonna climb up that mountain Chris is ready to ride his bike for the first time We've got about four miles of uphill coming up here's the finished product let me get to the drive side of this bad boy all right there she is done deal some of the highlights I think are the uh, pike ultimate fork he's got the STFU set up here on the chain stay to keep the chain nice and quiet it's pretty sweet GX drivetrain titanium bottle cages p and 200 millimeter dropper, WTB seat, some fresh tires. What are these, SRAM, SRAM code RS brakes? RS, yeah. Couldn't quite get the firmness I like with the RSCs. Like, ooh, look at these grips. Ooh, those are squishy. I think the tools might come out a few times today because it's the <laughs> I wasn't it's, gonna say it. it's the first first ride on a new build. And, based uh, on how the build went? Yeah, based on how it went the other day, I think, um, yeah, we might have to adjust some things, but that's normal. How are you feeling, Chris? You excited to ride this thing? Yeah, I was hoping we were gonna talk about tools this morning, but yeah, I've got a little multi-tool. The main thing I think is gonna be interesting about this shakedown video is that Chris hasn't ridden a hardtail in about a year and a half, almost two years. Call and it his, two years, yeah. And his last bike was a full rigid Surly, so he's been a little spoiled on uh, between a Levo and a Stump Jumper Evo for a while, so as pumped as he is about having this hardtail, I'm kind of thinking that he might be a little surprised at the zinginess of the, of the titanium. Just that, that little awakening of uh, plowing a, a hardtail down some, some braking bumps. So it'll be interesting to see what he says. So we're going to climb up this hill and we're going to start riding down. I'll put a camera on Chris and let's get his reactions. All right. Yeah, it's time. It's time. <laughs> it must have been pretty tough to build a bike and not ride it for a few days. Let's be real. It took me a few days to get this baby going. <laughs> I'd say I resisted yesterday for this. <laughs> I think the last thing I did when we were shooting that build 
was go cut <laughs> Turn off. i was so frustrated and like we're not getting anywhere i was just pissing in the wind that whole day Dude, i don't know how we, five hours passed <laughs> the, yeah. we that bike sat in the freaking in the, in the bike stand. In the we frame just, sat in the stand for two and a half hours so so for future reference i think we need to have like a, a frame viewing party yeah yeah and yeah, then yeah, we'll yeah, build yeah, it the yeah. next day well and then just go to the bike shop have them put the freaking headset or the yeah, the headset, and what else do we have issues with? The crown race. I'm not a manualer, but I might have to learn on this thing. <laughs> well, you, you'll have no excuses on that bike. Yeah. If I'm falling behind, it's because I can't keep up, not because I'm scared to follow. <laughs> I like following. How's the first hundred yards treating you, or a few hundred Good. yards? Good, that's fun, dude. Feels great. Feel a little rowdy? Yeah, just gotta pick the lines. <laughs> it's actually, I mean, that's what's good about this, right? Figure yeah. out how to pick your lines again. Yeah, it'll make you study the trail a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Running the edges of the trail. Yeah. A lot of rut crossing. <laughs> Back and forth on that rut. Yeah, I was so scared of it, I was off the trail for a second. Hey, oh. Oh, that's the line right there. I yeah. could have hit that. We could have. Like, do you cut the tree out or do you build a lip over it? I had a little, I know, right? <laughs> I had a little ramp, but it's all gone away. <laughs> Using the brush guards here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right there. That was good right there. <laughs> Woo. Oh. <laughs> Woo, that was a little rowdy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh baby, oh baby, oh no I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> It's running great. Oh man, so much traction in the turns right now. Yeah. It's like... And the ruts just give you a little added uh, difficulty. I tried to catch some air right after that one. You can kind of a little downhill. Yeah. <laughs> Does it feel dicey or does it feel? Dude, it feels good. I'll um, bet, I'll bet the cornering with it, like it probably feels pretty say. stable when we're going through that chundery stuff and then you get into the turns. Once you point the front end and get it leaned over, it probably just snaps and goes, huh? Yeah, um, it's cornering great. The only thing I'm noticing is obviously line choice, and which this trail, I mean, you'd be doing the same lines anyway. It's like, yeah, um, it's good. It feels really good. Is it uh, jarring? Um, I'm, I mean, my hands are more fatigued than they would be. Yeah, yeah, you um, got to hold on to the thing a little tighter. Yeah, but I'm not like teeth rattling. The surly was teeth rattling. Like, yeah. I remember just thinking like at the end of a run like this, it's like, dude, 
you almost want to throw a freaking mouth guard in like it's yeah. jarring like yeah, teeth rattling like every third turn you're like should i take more pressure out of the tire <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> well sick let's keep her yeah, going i'm liking it i hope i'm not holding you up here chris no not at all i'm trying to keep up <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> nice skip. I was just the diving. You skipped perfectly. sweet <laughs> that was fun so are you riding high on the new bike stoke right now yeah that was fun dude <laughs> different than what i'm used to as far as in terms of hardtails definitely like planted cornering was great and then just a little bit of arm fatigue <laughs> as, as, as expected proper break-in i didn't think about i like it would... i can't believe the cranks are bent it's the last time i'm mentioning it but <laughs> it's so upsetting oh yeah so update we weren't recording when you figured that out uh chris had gotten these cranks off of uh pink bike i wish i could plug the guy i bought them from right now but they the crank sat in the garage for a few months while he waited for the frame to come in and he finally gets them on the bike and they're bent so before I go blowing that guy up, I'm gonna have to throw new pedals on just to determine that it's not a bent pedal. But yeah, you gotta do the whole process yeah, of elimination. Yeah, giving them the benefit of the doubt. But I took these pedals off a different bike and they weren't bent on that bike, so. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, just ate a ton of Chris's mud. I can manual just enough to get through there. <laughs> I wouldn't usually trust Chris's lines. Oh, wrong gear for this. Did you follow me? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm following. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're going in. <laughs> wow, a lot of hikers. Thank you. You too, buddy. <laughs> yeah? Dougie's talking about the beers already? Dang. Take the log. Uh, I'm not taking that log. It looks a little, for it. a little too loggy. What's the line here, James? <laughs> oh, that's the line! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, I, I call that cleaning it. <laughs> Did I screw you up? I was in slow motion, but I cleaned it. <laughs> Kept Doug out of it though. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Brake check you. All right, any final thoughts on the opening ride shakedown of the old binary here? No, I'm impressed, dude, I like it. It's uh, not, I guess just the geometry, right? It's not as different from my stumpy as I anticipated. Uh-huh. Just gotta work up the forearm fatigue. Yeah, you just gotta grip those bars a little tighter, eh? Yeah, or maybe <laughs> looser, I don't know. Maybe I'm overcompensating, that's why I'm fatigued. Well, sweet. Stoked to have another person in the hardtail gang. Yeah. You see that titanium hardtail, you know you're a man of class. <laughs> a man that appreciates the finer things. Yeah. 